And I know the older guys in here is not going to like this, but I got to say it. I no longer like to see older guys dating younger girls. Look at all the old guys. What the fuck for? <laughs> Here's why. Because in college, one of them old motherfuckers took my girlfriend. Yep, and I've been hating on them old niggas ever since. Because <laughs> what happened is older guys pay your rent, your mortgage, your car note, and then she'll come home and get mad with us. Why you can't pay my bills like my older friend? I was like, first of all, bitch, he got a 40-year head start. <laughs> How the fuck I'm gonna compete with a retired military check, bitch? <laughs> this motherfucker win. And I've been hating on the marriage. True story, I seen an older guy today at Walmart, about 73 year olds holding this 21 year old girl hand. And the spirit said, go hate on him. <laughs> I stood in blind. This is a true story. I stood behind him, I started singing, dance with my father. <laughs> He didn't give a fuck. He started dancing. He said, you don't sound too bad. <laughs> Hit that again, youngster. I said, get your ass out of here. <laughs> I just did a show earlier today. Can't make this up. It's like a 75-year-old man was sitting on the front row with a 19-year-old girl. And you knew I was going to get in this shit. Because <laughs> one thing I can tell you about older guys, they cannot hold that piss. Am I right? <laughs> I knew he was gonna have to use the restroom in about five minutes. If you wanna know if a man is 60 and up, he smell like piss right now. Go up in that area right up. Because they can't stop peeing, they keep leaking. If you ever wonder why they inner thigh stink, ladies, I'm gonna create a panty liner. And become a millionaire. Look at the old ladies know what I'm talking about. Look at the ladies, yep, that shit do be stank right by the balls. Right up in that area, right up in there. Cause they pissing. You gotta put some duct tape or a band-aid over them. <laughs> Trying to stop that leak. <laughs> some cotton drawers don't work that time. And when he, when he got up and used the restroom, I said, young lady, why is you with this old ass man? And she was like, and she said some real shit. She said, well, he lied about his age and he told me he was 47. <laughs> cause you know, all the guys lied about the age cause see, they ain't wearing church socks and Stacey Adams no more. They wearing sweatsuits. They taking Bluetooth, covering up hearing aids. They don't even know I'm talking about them. They laugh when y'all laugh. They like. <laughs> Look at me, I see you. You don't even know I'm talking about you. Right <laughs> so, so next time, young ladies, if you want to know if a man is 60 and up, pay attention. The next time he take y'all on a date, as soon as y'all sit down, I want you to watch his hands. And if he start massaging his knees, <laughs> he's 63, got that. <laughs> Look at all of them, they tried to move that shit. <laughs> they 63, got that. I'm actually trying to settle down and find myself a wife. Hey, well, let me tell you about older ladies. No, he got a valid point, because these old ladies are lying about their age. They run around telling these young guys they 40. If you want to know if a woman is 55 and up, take her to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffle at midnight. And if she order coffee, this bitch 59. Cause she's sleeping. Bitch don't want no orange juice. Give me Red Bull and coffee. I'm trying to stay woke with this young man. They got narcolepsy in this corner, I got that. Look at him, he was like, just so you even it out. I don't want her talking about rubbing my knees, bitch. You, you got coffee, bitch. You got folders in your cup. 